All right, now if two amazing days in the Aussie bush sounds like music to your ears, then this NatureWise Eco Escape from Conservation Volunteers Australia could be just what you're looking for. Now keep your eyes and ears peeled because we are on the trail of one of the most accomplished singers here in the bush. We're in beautiful King Lake, just an hour's drive from Melbourne, to assist Parks Victoria with their annual lyrebird survey in the King Lake National Park. The program includes accommodation at the fabulous Karma King Lake, constructed from materials reclaimed from the local area following the devastating Black Saturday fires of 2009. On arrival, team leader Catherine tells me more about Conservation Volunteers Australia. We work a lot with the community and see what type of needs the community has. So whether that's uh, delivering land care projects, working with um, government organisations such as Parks Victoria or the Department of Primary Industries. We also do a lot of work with CMA, so catchment management authorities. Conservation Volunteers is about connecting people to the environment. So we take volunteers who are keen to get out into the outdoors and get them experiencing some amazing places that they would not normally get to, get to go to. NatureWise Eco Escapes are a unique combination of conservation volunteering and local leisure activities. We begin with a guided walk through the National Park to see firsthand the regeneration since Black Saturday. This program includes a guided evening wildlife walk to catch a rare glimpse of some of the park's nocturnal residents. Back at Karma and all meals are also included. The menu is delicious, hearty and satisfying. Time to get to work, so I catch up with Ranger Tony for a briefing on the Lyrebird survey and an update on the park's recovery. Yeah, look, it's, um, we've had some good seasons. The first year after the Black Saturday fires, there was um, a lot of erosion. Where the forest is uh, a wetter type of forest, like what we have around us here now, and it's a bit flatter, it's been quite prolific. How's the wildlife responded in general to that regeneration? In most of the areas, they seem to have, um, they seem to coexist with fire pretty well, even quite devastating wildfire like we had. Uh, look, the Lyrebird Survey is a methodology that's been utilised for the last probably 30 years. We're given a point which we have mapped that we go back to every year, and at that point, at around about the same time each year, we'll have a surveyor sitting at that point just before, before dawn and they will uh, record the time and the direction from that point of a male live bird that's calling. Once the survey has been completed, it's time to assess the results. And based on the results, the population is stable. We uh, collect the data from all the surveyors and uh, we map it. Uh, we'll plot out and try and triangulate or get a confirmation of uh, of each bird that's calling. It's not a, a total head count of every live bird in the forest, it's just telling us the male live birds that are calling, but it, gives, it still gives us a good indication of uh, the numbers in that particular area. Nearby Healesville Sanctuary is renowned for its conservation work with feathered and furry Aussie critters, and this NatureWise Eco Escape includes a guided walk around the sanctuary. The Spirits of the Sky Bird Show featuring majestic parrots and birds of prey is an absolute must. For more details on NatureWise Eco Escapes near you, just visit the website.